Hey, what's happening, everybody? This is Captain RL with FL Fishing Spots and GPS Fishing Maps. This is the Miami Offshore Fishing Spots. Now, the Miami uh, Dade County Offshore Fishing Area covers, if you can watch the mouse, there should be a little yellow circle around it from Elliott Key all the way up to the south end of Lauderdale up here. I'll zoom in some and show you some of the spots. Um, this is a good area. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a pretty popular one. They're updated for 22 and uh, for 2022. There's uh, there's not just the big misconception. It, a, lot, a lot of sites on the internet offer just the public reefs and stuff you can just get off the internet for free. Um, we have some of that stuff, but only the better of it. And we also have work with a local network of guides. So we have lots of private spots, so to speak, as well, which is patch reef, little small ledges, live bottom, uh, hard bottom, natural bottom, stuff like that, that that other people don't have. And that's, what's, that's what separates GPS fishing maps and FL fishing spots from the rest of any of the, any of the other companies. I think everybody provides a great product, but ours is specific to, we work with guides in every local area of Florida to bring you, you know, exactly, perfectly organized fishing spots with comments. So this is a GPS view. It's on some GPS software we have in house here, and uh, I'm just going to show you show you the uh, the coverage. So you've seen it goes all the way down to Elliott Key, which Governor's cut. Um, so Elliott Key all the way up. I'm just going to scroll up here. Sorry about the dizziness of the screen running here, um, but it runs all the way up to Lauderdale. There's the Daniel cutoff, and this is Lauderdale here, as you can see on the top left of the screen right here. Um, sorry about the text; it's underneath that text, but that's Lauderdale there. And um, most of these, the black flags you see, most of this is this is all live bottom and um, natural bottom, small ledges and etc. That we that I mentioned earlier. And uh, this cuts off here, as mentioned. So there's nothing above Lauderdale, but on the buy one get one free we have going most of the year. When you check out, you can select the Fort Lauderdale to Boca Raton spots and, and fill this in. This is 435 spots for the Miami area, but from Lauderdale to Boca, there's several hundred more you can connect to this and, uh, and cover this whole area. And it'll be at no extra charge at checkout when you select your free area, select the Lauderdale to Boca if you want to connect these. Or if you want to connect them to the south, you can buy the Florida Keys fishing spots and that'll connect to the south. Either one of those will be a free Buy one get one free out of the buy one get one free menu at checkout. Um, but this is just a little overview of what it is. I'll zoom back out so you can get the full scope of of the length of this. I'll measure it for you and tell you about what it is. Also, get my measuring tool right quick. So we'll go from Lauderdale down to uh, Elliott, and you can't see it on my screen on your screen, but I can see it's around 44 miles total, and it's again 435 spots total on the Miami fishing spots um, area here off Dade County. And uh, we probably get a little bit down south here. We probably get a little bit into uh, Monroe County, but it's mostly going to be for Dade County and South Lauderdale. And um, go, so get a little bit into Broward too. So this covers that, that 44 miles is a lot of, a lot of area. And there's going to be spots on here that you probably don't have. If I swap over to the Google Earth view, um, this shows a lot of the names of the spots. You can see they're just, they're rather stacked in there pretty good. Um, we can zoom in on this one. You can also use this with the Navionics app, by the way. We have a file specifically for that, um, for, for the Navionics uh, app. So you can use it on iOS or Android on mobile, or you can use it in Google Earth too. What I like about Google Earth is you can tap on a fish head or, or click on a fish head and you get a, you get a description. For example, as simple as it is, you need to know. It says, good coral ditch holds bottom fish, chum heavy. So you get these random comments. I'll see. This one is, uh, this is a dip in a mini ledge. That's good bottom fishing. So each one has, you know, its own, its own comment. So those are important. And those come from the guys who provide the spots, the comments do. These spots out here where it says available, these are deep drop fishing spots that are available. It says contact us for info. And uh, so those those uh, those deep drop spots are available and swordfish spots are available for all of Southeast Florida. You can check those out on flfishingspots.com. From the main menu, click on deep drop spots. 
And uh, anyway, that's a quick overview of that on Google Earth. You get this file as well, loads to computer and mobile, or it's on a Mac as well for Google Earth. Or we can pop back open here, and um, this is the GPS view. This, this GPS view will differ depending on what maps you have loaded to your GPS, but these spots will load seamlessly to any mapping you have on any GPS in the world and any mapping that's made in our, you know, on the planet, literally. So they'll show up there for you. You'll be able to navigate. They'll show up on your map screen, your plotter screen, as well as your waypoints list. Okay. But any questions, you guys visit flfishingspots.com or email us at gpsfishingmaps at gmail.com. Again, it's Captain RL, representative for GPS Fishing Maps at flfishingspots.com. You guys have a great day. We look forward to serving you. And uh, thank you to all our customers for the last 15, 18 years. Fish on, guys. Take care.